Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by iMobi and their AnyTrans software. AnyTrans can help you transfer all of your WhatsApp data from an iPhone over to an Android, or from an Android over to an iPhone, or from iPhone to iPhone, Android to Android. You can transfer everything, things like files, you can transfer photos, you can transfer also videos, and much more. AnyTrans can help you transfer all this data over cross-platform very easily. So check out AnyTrans, links will be in the description and down below. So iOS 15.2 Beta 1 has been out for nearly a week I said the filming of this video and as per usual I like to come back and share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for several days and Apple has a secret weapon feature that I think most users will love once updating but of course if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software updates information make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 15.2 has been out for nearly a week as of the filming of this video, beta one that is. And in this video, I wanted to talk about Apple's secret weapon feature for iOS 15.2. If you didn't catch my initial coverage, Apple has enabled a feature that was initially set to be launching with iOS 15, but is now here being tested with iOS 15.2 under privacy. There it is, the app privacy report. Now, this feature allows the user, the end user, us, to see which applications are enabling the camera, the microphone, accessing data, and information that's very important for you to know what's happening in the background of each application. Now, not only does this provide this type of information, but it tells you what time of the day, the day, and it also works with third-party applications and even websites that you visit. So if a website's trying to act sketchy, you can see what they're trying to do in the background and you can see all this information available to you with the app app privacy report and this is the graphical user interface that we've all been waiting for in order to get access to this type of information. I think this is Apple's secret weapon for iOS 15.2 and many users will take advantage of this new feature to see which apps are enabling your camera, your microphone without you knowing. It's going to be great for those of you once you update to iOS 15.2 and decide to update. Now aside from iOS 15.2's new app privacy report feature, Apple has also updated the emergency SOS feature within iOS 15.2 as well. So if we head on over to the emergency SOS categories right here, and now this feature here was available prior in previous iOS updates, Apple removed it and now it is back. And this one is call with five press of the side button. So this is an emergency SOS, of course, if you press the side button five times in a row, your iPhone will automatically begin calling emergency services for you. It starts a countdown as you can see right here, and it will call emergency services for you. You'll hear that. Of course, you can cancel it, obviously. But yeah, this feature was available before, as I mentioned, but now it is back with iOS 15.2 Beta 1. Now, another great change to iOS 15.2 Developer Beta 1 is the new notification summary. Now, take a look at that. That's a new notification summary. Obviously, Apple had enabled this feature with iOS 15, and now it looks a little different. You get a cluster of applications on the top right portion. You get the notification numbers on the top right as well and it's a cleaner layout is a lot nicer to look at a lot better for users that have multiple applications in one summary i think it looks really nice in terms of software features ios 15.2 brings great improvements overall for software features and a ui improvements as well as you just saw the emergency sos of course we have the app privacy report feature and now the new app summary or notification summary for the lock screen so this software aims to be a pretty solid update for users that aim to update to iOS 15.2. Now, for those of you that continue to ask, when will this software be released to the general public? Keep in mind, we're currently in beta one. It is November 1st, if you're watching today. And uh, this software will most likely be in beta testing for the next two months. But keep in mind, Apple does take a break during the holiday season. So iOS 15.2, believe it or not, could be released mid-January next year. It depends on how Apple releases the next beta. So if Apple starts on a weekly release schedule and every week from here on out we see a new beta then this software could release before Christmas if not most likely yes next year January mid-January when Apple comes back from vacation 15.2 will continue its beta cycle and release late January mid to late January but so far beta 1 looking good battery performance and new features and enhancements are great you guys are going to love this software once it is released of course I'll have a follow-up video on some of the additional new features we can expect for Apple to add before this software is out. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.
Peace.